Hello and welcome to the Only Connect final. What a momentous occasion. I can't stress that enough. And I want to stress that too, the stress. It's important and it'll be stressful and you will be stressed. We are stressing the stress tonight. Entertainment is so 2019, don't you think? If the last couple of years have taught us anything, it's that the way to get people's attention is by making them worry. So this matters, it's important, people's souls will be crushed. Watch carefully or it could happen to you. And let me welcome the teams. On my right, Evan Lynch, a PhD student who watched a member of Jedwood break their ankle. George Charlson, an economist who was once stuck in a canoe for several hours in alligator-infested waters and their captain, Francis Clark Murray, who enjoys holidays themed around European Parliament buildings. All big fans of the green, they are the golfers. Very well done on making it this far. What has been your highlight of the series? I think the highlight was definitely, for me, uh, getting the group on the wall last time of uh, famous people called Lily, and uh, then my teammates deciding there was another group of people called Lily that was also on the wall. I mean, that's a great idea for a wall. It is. It I mean, it really is, actually. Well, they're all called Lily. We could drive people mad with it. Many congratulations on being finalists. Your fellow finalists are, on my left, Claire Turner, who knows pi to 30 decimal places and has run anti-clockwise around the Isle of Wight coastal path. Jonathan Cairns, who performs in a science comedy group dressed as a wizard. And their captain, Tim Brown, who owns a modest collection of souvenir mugs and makes an excellent cheese toasty. All data science workers, they are the data wizards. Tim, what has been different about coming to play Only Connect than you expected? There's a lot less quizzing and a lot more chatting. <laughs> <laughs> you knew it happened in Wales, right? <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, you two, on making the final. I hope you all have a terrific evening. It will be quite difficult. Don't worry if you score no points. It simply doesn't matter. Data Wizards, your opponents won the toss, but they've decided you are going to play first. So please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Lion, please. Lion. What is the connection between these picture clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Uh, oh, that's, that's a C-sharp. There's a type of that's a programming oh, it's language. Programming language. Oh. So what's is Castrol programming language? I don't know, but it might be. Should we get another one anyway? Yeah. Uh, next, please. Oh, that. I guess. That's the bottom of Japan. That's Java. It's Java. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, so we've got it. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred p. We think they're all programming languages. They are programming languages coming in after just three clues. Very well done. What do you think the last clue might have been? Um, a pirate uh, going. Arr. <laughs> I wish it had been that. It's a Python, which is much less interesting. Could have been Arnold Schwarzenegger. There's an Arnold C language, which is made out of one-liners from Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's quite a nice idea. Didn't recognise clue one? No, not really. Swift. Swift. Yeah. Right. Swift. Yeah. Golfers, what would you like? Uh, can we have the two reads, please? Yes, you can. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Russia, North East of the Rhine. Um, uh, could be... Is this, like, names for German? German oh, provinces, could yeah, be. could be. Uh, next, please. America, yeah. South of Europe. <sighs> so, suit. We don't have anything. Is this treaties? Maybe. Next, please. Maybe treaties. So, um, from East of Berlin. Ooh. Is this to do with Parliament or something? What is happening? C A E. Oh, oh, it's um, it's periodic table. I think. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, uh, it's, yeah you're right. It is. It's location. Yeah, hang on, just wait. It table. is. No, you're absolutely right. Yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. The, these are the locations of chemical elements on the periodic table named after the places. Beautifully summed up. That is exactly what they are. You didn't need the giveaway clue. Scandinavia, north of Italy. What exactly does it mean in clue one, for example? Uh, so the Rhine would be rhenium. Mm -hmm. So it would be one up. So you're looking for what's above and to the right yes. of rhenium. Uh, what is the name, element named after Russia? Ruthenium, maybe? It is ruthenium, exactly so. And what's America south of Europe? Uh, so, Europium, the lanthanide, and uh, americium, the actinide. Exactly so. Um, and Californium, Californium is to the right of Berkelium yeah, yeah. Uh, and Scandinavia, and it'll be there. Very well done. What do you think gallium is named after? France. Well, it might be. Do you know which chemist named gallium? Um, it was Lecoq uh, de Bois-Baudrin. Uh, Bois 
And, uh, and uh, Latin for cock is gallus, so that might be uh, where it came from. I don't know why you're giggling. It's simply what the man's name was, and he might have named it after himself, and that's all that is. Data wizards, what would you like? Twisted flax, please. Twisted flax. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Different types of either so birds, it could be or, birds or, yeah. Okay, next. Uh, next, please. Oh, uh, oh no! I've played it. I can't score. So this is a piece of music, is it? Uh, no, it's a, it's no, it's a, a game. game. It's a good game. Oh. I don't know what it is, but should we get another one? Yeah. Get, get another. Get another. Yeah. Next, please. No. Oh, what's it called? Uh, I'm going to get another one. Yeah. Next. Oh, yeah, Talons. Not it, I'm afraid. Golfers, do you know, for a bonus point? The anagrams of the... Uh, the things the, in the clue. The, the named thing in the clue. So, for example... Uh, Bangui is the capital city on the river Ubangi. Exactly so. So, descendants of Mesolasturidae. Yeah. Parrots. Oh, parrots. Okay. Parrots are those descendants, an <laughs> anagram nice. of raptors. Follow up to Undertale, do you know what's meant Delta there? Rune. Delta, Delta Rune, yes. it's Toby Fox's follow-up to the game Undertale. Uh, you told me about Clue 3. And who is the front man of the band that performed Dan Abnormal? Damon Alban. Damon Alban, yeah, exactly yeah. so. That is an anagram, the blur front man. Well spotted for the bonus point, and what would you like for your own question? Uh, can we have the eye of Horus, please? Yes, you can. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. OK, so mm, good. Yeah, yeah, that's the next piece. Well, um, so that's oh, the crucible. It's yeah, it's crucible. the first of. It's it's bank holiday yeah. one day. It's a fun. Then, yeah, uh, that's true. Sheffield. Um, um, May, May, yeah. May day. Yeah. Um, oh, that's, that's um, um, Robert Graves, Graves, isn't it? Oh, Rupert Bro it's Robert one Graves. of them. It's it oh, might be. Um, uh, next, please. Yeah, they all start on the 1st of April. 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 They all the 1st of April. They all start on 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 the 1st of April. 1984. Do you know the first line? It was a bright, cold day in April and the clocks were striking 13. Exactly so. And the World Snooker Championships, why have we said usually? Because it didn't happen. Because in 2020 it didn't. Uh, that's the normal thing, to start in April and finish in May. Home thoughts from abroad, that's the Robert Browning, and he's in exile, dreaming, oh, to be in England now that April's there. So, well done, you get that bonus. And what question would you like? Um, water, please. Water. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. So, which film's that? Yeah, which film's that going to be in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, next, please. Maybe it's multiple films. Oh, multiple then, films. like something with the name of the film on it, or. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, next. Oh. oh I'm really I'm really I'm I'm did I? Sorry? The streetcar named Desire. Yeah. It sings, like, sings in titles? Maybe. Maybe. Next. Oh, that's in Roger Rabbit, your friend Roger Rabbit. So? Um, they, all they all turned out to be a cartoon, but... Uh, um, cartoons. Not it, I'm afraid. Another bonus chance for you golfers. These are the answers to questions in the titles of films. They are the answers to film title questions. And what are the questions, starting at clue one? Uh, I don't know. That is a film from 1989, Who's Harry Crumb? Second one's presumably Dude, Where's My Car? Dude, Where's My Car? It's yeah. parked behind a mail truck. <laughs> Spoiler alert. So you recognised the last clue? Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And even though there isn't actually a question mark in that title, so it could be read as a statement, uh, it can be interpreted as a question. Now that you know they all answer film title questions, do you recognise clue three? She lives in a mansion with her sister Blanche is the answer to the question, whatever happened to Baby Jane? Oh, answers right. to film title questions. Well done. And a question remains for you. The Horned Viper. It's got to be the music question because we haven't had it. What do these clues have in common? Here's the first. Next, please. Down, my 
Snowmen? Not it, I'm afraid. Data Wizards, do you know? Alternate lyrics. Not it. This is a series of duets in which one person is singing both parts. The last one, that's in Frozen, Kristoff is singing Reindeers Are Better Than People as a duet with his reindeer Sven, but it's a sort of ventriloquism. He sings to the reindeer as well. The first one, Jekyll and Hyde, the musical, and the actor playing the lead, who sings both parts, of course. Second one, Spotify's most streamed song ever. Do you know what that is? Shape, Shape of you. you. Shape of You, Ed Sheeran, and it's a dialogue where he sings both parts. And the third one, I'm glad you move on, because I, I find that incredibly moving. It's Alan Jones. He did a couple of albums where he duetted with his younger self. So the young choir boy, yeah. Alan Jones, and the grown-up... Alan sings the other part. Uh, that was the uh, Walking in the Air, the Snowman one, and that was from One Voice at Christmas. Alan Jones singing with his younger self is a, is, a, is a strangely moving sound. And that means at the end of round one, the Data Wizards have three points, the golfers have four. <laughs> Sequence is time now. Data Wizards, you'll be going first again. Which hieroglyph would you like? Jonathan. Could we have the Eye of Horus, please? Yes, you could. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. One half cousins, one becomes. So is this, uh, what does that first symbol mean? Ooh, that means therefore. Get another. Yeah. Uh, next. Oh, so, so it's how many? Is it how many grandparents you share, or how many not? I don't know. I think it is how many grandparents sure. you share, actually. Yeah. yeah. Could it so if you share all four, you must be siblings, right? Four, therefore, siblings? Mm, yeah. yeah. Should I do yeah. that? Uh, do, do you, uh, yeah, well, what would you say three would be? I think it must be different. Okay. okay. Yeah. Four, therefore, siblings. Four, therefore, siblings. Is the right answer, and why? This is how many grandparents they share. Exactly so, and four grandparents, obviously, that would be a pair of siblings. Well calculated. Golfers, what would you like? Can we have the lion, please? Yes, you can. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Ten in pure football teams. Anything? So, I mean, there's no. Premier League football teams. Yeah, but it might be something else. Uh, can you look for word things? Next, please. Two gentlemen. Uh, Western passing. It's a league of gentlemen. Two gentlemen. Le Royce and Basie is where the league it's of gentlemen is. It's a league of gentlemen, yeah. But, like, is there a Shakespeare thing here? Well, no. No, no this, there's a word thing try, in there, I think. Uh, next, please. Oh, I think it's, it's, it's half the league. Half, it's half, half, yeah. half of the league. So, I'm afraid that's I'm not the right the answer. Yeah. Data Wizards, do you know? Um, the entirety of the Premiership. Not it. <sighs> well done. You're right about the clues, but I want to know what comes forth. All of these clues represent half of a league. Half the Football League, uh, half the League of Gentlemen, half the Ivy League. It is the Tennyson. Half a league, half a league, half a league, onward. I wanted to hear something that means onward, for example, the 2020 Pixar film. Unlucky. Data Wizards, what would you like next? Um, twisted Flax, please. The Twisted Flax. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Summer for... Oh, that doesn't make any mathematical sense. Well, well no, obviously. <laughs> um, next. Uh, one, two, three. So is, is this a word one? Let's me do. So, oh, is it, is it a number of strokes in the, when you write it out? Some of would be sigma. Mm. Greater than or equal to is three strokes, so you want something that's... So it's something like minus one, one right? Oh, it would yeah, be one yeah. stroke. Minus one. Because minus it's is... One stroke minus and then the number yeah. of strokes in... Yeah. Okay. So, so can you minus, explain that? Do you want, yeah, OK, right. Jonathan. Minus one. Very well done. I know maths isn't your strong point, uh, Jonathan, but have a go anyway at talking <laughs> us through the clues. So the sum is the sigma, sigma symbol, mm -hmm. which is, has, uses four straight lines. Mm -hmm. The greater than or equal sign is sort of a, an angle bracket with a, another line underneath it, so you draw that with three strokes. Mm -hmm. um, equal is two 
horizontal stroke, so we were looking for a symbol with one stroke in it. Exactly so. It, the sum of four is misleading. You want a symbol for sum of, and the number four indicating the number of lines in it, and so on. So something represented by one line, for example, a minus sign. Very well done. Back to you, golfers, what would you like? Can we have the Horned Viper, please? Yes, you can. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Um, so the Canadian, I don't really is know it, what I'm saying. Is it Janus? Yeah, um, yeah no, the, the Janus is a new one. one. Next, okay. please. Back. A Janus family. So, yeah, so what's Kingdom of Mammalia, family, 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 class of Mammalia. Order is primates, family, so it's order and then it's class. So we need something that is, so is class. So the Doctor Who spin-off set in a school, for example. Yeah. Were you, were you all right with Are that? Sure? We've got the time. Um, so it's, Can you double so check? it's genus, family. Yeah. Oh, okay. Class is one more, yeah. All those primates, family, I mean, so yeah, it's definitely right, yeah. Thing of which is satirised in the sketch with on the Frost Report. <laughs> That's much more interesting than what we've got, which is group of school children, but they both mean the same thing. Another early bars. Well done, it's the right answer. What's going on here? Evan? Uh, so this is taxonomy ranks going backwards. So you have genus, family, order, and class. Exactly, and very well done for coming up with that interesting gloss <laughs> on well the done. class. Are yeah. both sides getting these questions early? Have we made it too easy? Is that the thing? <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. Is it, are you finding it too easy at home? Is it? Yeah, yeah, we need to notch it up a bit. Let's make it harder. Okay. Back to you, data wizards, for a choice. Two reads, please. Two reads. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Only a facial C. That could be to do with nerves. Yeah. I don't know what everything that is. The abbreviation's ice. Uh, yeah. Next. Yeah. That's, the That's the carotid artery, I assume. So is that a way of dying? Get that thing. Um, next. It's a yellow. Maybe it's red, orange, yellow, so it's something that's green. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, so something that's green. What makes you go green? Um, gangrene. Okay. Gangrene. For what reason? These are the colours you go if you have these diseases. <laughs> I will take it. We've put nausea. Right. What is idiopathic craniofacial erythema? Uh, is it blushing or is it something Extreme like blushing and keratinemia. You might potentially go orange, then yellow. I mean, obviously, it's a bit figurative because, I mean, first of all, you'd have to have pale skin and in the case of the last clue, I think possibly be in the beano because <laughs> I don't know if anyone actually goes green uh, with nausea. So, depending on your original skin colour and whether or not you're in a comic, it is a series of conditions following a rainbow pattern. Well done. Golfers, one question remains. Water question. What would come forth in this picture sequence? Here's the first. Um, I don't recognise this yeah, flag. Okay. It's like Alpine, but next, um, please. Oh, uh, are, the, are these like the proposed new flags of New Zealand? Oh, it's a bit strange. Yeah, yeah, so maybe it's just the original New Zealand flag. Do you want to go for one? I mean, we're not going to recognise the last one. Is it one. also the, the there was like a flag which was like black and Let's has go a for another one. Yeah, uh, next, flag. please. I think go for the original New Zealand flags without mm. anything else. The, there was a thing where they wanted like a black flag with the white doing, leaf. I think you're, I doing, think you're doing a mega brain. So. Yeah. Before you answer, I would like a description of what you would expect to see in the last picture. OK. The, the Union flag in the top left corner, a dark blue background and the Stars of the Thousand Cross. A perfect answer. Very well done. What is this sequence? These are proposed flags for New Zealand or well, one is actual flag of New Zealand. Because they had a referendum in, on in it recently, popularity. and the most popular one was the original New Zealand flag. Yeah, that's exactly it. it it's, it's rather complicated. It's a sequence, in theory, of popularity from fourth to first, but they actually had a couple of referendums in New Zealand on the flag, and if you kind of melded the results together, that's what you would get, going back towards the original flag, which is what people chose, having had it already. So it was all a magnificent waste of time. <laughs> but not for you, because you get the points. Well done. That means at the end of round two, the golfers have nine points, the data wizards have 11. <laughs> Time now for a pair of final connecting walls. And the first of them will go to you golfers. Would you like lion or water? Uh, can we have water, please? Yes, you can. Two and a half minutes to solve the water wall, starting now. OK, 
paint. Oh, okay. Is it going to be Cluedo in there, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Um, black. Yes, that's true. I'll just stop. Uh, types of blue, maybe, or colours. What have we got? Aqua. And There's maybe. purples in there as well. Yeah. Lilac, yeah. mauve, violet. And Pink, I guess. Plum. A plum. Yeah. That's a problem. Okay. Okay. okay, well done. Fish. Fish. But, but then we've got bands. Um, cream, rainbow, cream, aqua, rainbow. and aqua. Uh, blue. Blue is blue. bad as well. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, let's think. So, okay, so. Let's slow it down. Okay, there's probably going to be a word. There must yeah, be a word. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do your jobs. Yeah. I'm looking. Uh, tier. Second tier. Um, key. 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 Well, mm, you have white noise, pink noise. Mm, that doesn't yeah. work. I mean, white, pink, and black are all colours, but it's not clear. Yes. Colours again. Probably not. Oh, yeah. um, is it the printing thing? No. Um, what printing thing? No, no, no that's gone. Key. Sorry. Key. Yeah, no, 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 that's not Doing. Um, uh, tie. Is it the start of tear? Uh, a tickle hidden in the skin. Yeah. Mark. Pin tie. Uh, height. Uh, no, yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, Pegasus is a horse. Pegasus is white. Pegasus is. Sticklebacks have red stars. Uh, what sometimes? <laughs> Black star, no, 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 no. Um, tear star, starmer, um, back, back, back. Oh! What? No, 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 no. Okay. I'm going to stop putting things in. Wait, well, hang on. Yeah, it's... George, we don't have time. No, no so... hang on, I want to say tear, tear is like, so you have ear at the end of that, yeah. maybe. No. No, back doesn't quite work. It's quite a lot of time. Still. Yeah, I know. I'm not going to put them all there. If we have got anything, tick this tickle in there. I'm not struggling. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Mr. No, no. Mr. White. Mr. Oh, um, no, it's not coming. No. no, it's not. Um, I think white, pink, black key might be the best option. Could be. Have we got anything else? Really don't know. Uh, sorry. No. That's your third life of the wall has frozen, but you found two groups. Tell me about the first group, lilac, violet, plum, mauve. They're sort of shades of purple. Yes, they are. And the next group, blue, cream, rainbow, aqua. They are the bands. They are the bands. And you can get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find. So let's resolve the wall. There we are. White, star, key, black. Things that appear on flags, but no. that's not right. You can put... Board after all of them. Whiteboard, starboard, keyboard, blackboard. And the last group, pink, pegasus, and so on. Things you can, uh, like, the ways of t attaching something. What about that? Pin, uh, they're peg, at the front stick, of the word. That's it. Pin, peg, stick, tie, ways of attaching things. So you found two groups, you gave me three connections, total of five points. Let's bring in their opponents now, give them the other wall and see how they get on. Data wizards, you get the lion wall. Two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. What we've got, I mean, there's colours, colours there, there's... Um, what, teal. Uh, um, well, there's, there's geese. Yeah. So yeah. there's cloud, teal... Um, azure black. is it? Oh, is it? Azure. Uh, I don't know. White goose is that thing? So um, I've got a cyan. Um, what kind of... And yellow are the... Oh, with the CMYK yeah, colours. Yeah, okay, yeah. So oh, yeah. Black, teal and yellow. Maybe it's white as well. Black. 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 Crystal. Yeah, Elder is there Scrolls, a word one in there? Jack, Jack Whitehall. Who's the Cano? Allow and Cano. Simon Cano. Um, um, shall I try different Silver. types of blue? Yeah. Billy Crystal. As you are. Right, got shades of blue. Um, yellow, that's I mean, there's yellow fever there. Um, yeah, there's a song called Yellow. Mm -hmm. Ruby. Crystal Skull. King oh, the um, Indiana Joneses. Yeah. Um, are, are there berries here? There are berries. Yeah, berry, blackberry, elberry. Um, Cloudberry, is that a thing? Yes, yes, it is. It is. Okay, yes. chill out. So we've got. Jack White Hall, Jack Black, Jack White. Jack Ruby. Jack okay. Ruby and, and what's yellow? Bar it could be Barkeeper's color? Friend, but no. Um, so what are the three of the one that we know? Uh, white, Jack. Ruby, White Hall. I mean, okay. there might be other Jacks and in black. there. Yeah, but, uh, yellow. Crystal, there's Crystal Maze. Crystal, yeah. Uh, yellow, have we got uh, like a, a word one in here? Yeah, yeah. Jack Black, I think. We're running no. out of time. Um, okay. You've solved the wall. Very well done. But what about the connections? Azure, Teal and so on? 
We think they are shades of blue. They're shades of blue. And the next group, goose, elder and so on. Uh, or berries. They can all be berries. And the next group, white, whitehall, ruby and black. Uh, famous or infamous jacks. Famous or infamous jacks. Jack Ruby, of course. Assassinated Lee Harvey Oswald. Yes. And the last group, yellow, crystal, barkeeper, callow. They all start with um, noise making. Very well spotted at the end there. Yell, cry, bark and call at the beginning. Very good. So that is all the connections and the bonus is a maximum of 10 points. Let's have a look at the overall scores. The golfers have 14 points. The data wizards have 21. Missing Val's time and this magnificent trophy is going to be going home with three of you. Not all of it. We keep the stand. You just get the kind of small thing on top. Nevertheless, you came here, so you might as well try and win it. Good luck. Fingers on buzzers teams. I can tell you that the first group of disguised clues are all eight-syllable words. Golfers? Machiavellianism. Correct. Data Wizards. Hemi, Demi, Semi, Quaver. Yes, it is. Golfers. Hydrochlorofluorocarbon. Well done. Golfers. Indefatigability. I'm glad that's over. Next category, film titles multiplied by ten. Golfers. The, the 70-year 70 70 itch. That's it. Golfers. Apollo 130. Correct. Data Wizards. 19,170. Instead of 1917. Very well done. Data Wizards. 1,001 Dalmatians. Not it, I'm afraid. Golfers, do you know? Um, 1,010 Dalmatians. That's the maths. Next category, record-breaking animals and a human equivalent. Data Wizards. Cheetah and Usain Bolt. The fastest runners. Giraffe and Robert Wadlow are the tallest is not a phrase I expected to use in my lifetime, but I just have, and it's the end of the quiz. Looking at the final scores, the winners with 23 points and new Only Connect champions are the Data Wizards. Very, very well done. Golfers, you finish with 20. Well done to you too. The trophy is yours to take home, Wizards. Many congratulations, but much more importantly, thank you for playing, all of you, for coming along and being good sports, which is, frankly, the only important thing. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the series. And maybe we'll see you again in future. In the meantime, I'm hurrying away to host another quiz. It's just a private one. It's what I do in my downtime. I can't stop. Literally, if I stop asking people questions, Sandra Bullock's bus explodes. Good night.